So today guys we cover an epic shield which many many people including myself overlooked going into this DLC 2 of Guns, Love and Tentacles. Today we take a closer look at the shield and what it's actually capable of. How's it going guys my name is DPG and today I'll be doing another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. Also guys, for all things gaming, no matter the platform you play on, check out G2A linked within that video description. With amazing deals and all you need, do check them out. So the shield, the Adrenaline Initiative, is a shield you actually get near the start of the Guns Love and Tentacles DLC, which most like me, actually overlooked. I mean, it's early on into the DLC, why would this thing be anything special? Well guys, it is. The shield is absolutely amazing and that's because it allows you to fire, well, any weapon like this. Notice that? Split second reload to a point of you not really noticing it and guys you can make it even faster and I'll explain exactly how you do this in a second. But before we get into that guys, more about the shield. This is a one time drop and it drops from Vincent near the start of the DLC. I believe it's the first boss fight we have to get through. Remember though, one time drop per campaign completion, so if you have had this in the past and just got rid of it like I did, you will have to rerun it. I did discard mine so I simply rerun it back on True Vault Hunter mode. But it is a one time guaranteed drop and it does drop on the floor. So looking at the shield itself, on paper in my opinion it's average. No shield capacity at all, a lot like the Rough Rider, but increases weapon damage and reduces incoming damage by 13% and grants 50 plus percent max health. So yeah, it takes away all shields, so it's a little risky using this without the correct build in place, which has some part of it dedicated to health regen. And its main benefit is a plus 23% reload speed while shield is depleted. Well, because your shield is always depleted, that's always in place. But guys, this reload effect stacks, and it's simple to stack it. All you need to do is have another shield, any shield, along with your adrenaline initiative. And to do this, to have a seemingless reload speed, it's as simple as just go inside your inventory and keep switching them back and forth. So keep switching this shield for any other shield you have and just keep switching them back and forth. If you have a Rough Rider and it does have added benefits like melee damage, I believe that will also stack at the same time. That though I haven't tested myself so I can't confirm but I have been told by a pal. Now if you do have two of these Adrenaline Initiative shields, if you switch between the two inside your inventory, the reload stack stacks obviously twice as quick. And like I said, it results in your reload speeds being more or less non-existent, which results in some crazy results in terms of possible DPS. As for the most part, many weapons in this game are stupid powerful, but most due to having a slow reload speed, that DPS drops like crazy. This takes away that fact. And what's also amazing about this is people, you can fast travel and it keeps the stacks. What you can't do is though quit out and load back in, or go into your inventory and switch out the shield for something else. Also I will state, stacking only works within one instance you're inside your inventory. So if you're inside your inventory stacking for 5 minutes, get an amazing stack, go back into your inventory and try and stack again, it removes the first lot of stacks you created. So keep that in mind people. So yeah guys I thought I'd just bring you this short video. For the people out there interested in experimenting with this like I am and I will continue to do into the night and if I do figure out anything interesting you guys will be sure to find it right here on my channel tomorrow so stay tuned for that guys. Now shout out to Simply Heartless for the heads up on the shield and what it's capable of so credit to him. So yeah guys a super interesting epic shield one I guarantee you most people overlooked because on paper it doesn't look that great when in reality it's actually amazing. On that note guys we have come to the end of the video, if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out, if you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.